All right, so welcome back to another class of introduction to web development with Python and JavaScript. So this will have lots of issue uh, with the previous classes in order to go a little bit faster. We'll actually use a platform called Gitpod instead. Uh, Gitpod is basically Visual Studio Code, but online version, okay? So it's basically online Visual Studio Code. So, um, so yeah, so have, have, have all of you signed up here? Signed up at githpod.io already? Um, so if you have a GitHub account, you can just use that. Yeah, you can sign up with GitHub. Yeah, it says like, I, there's this link and I went in it and there's like everything in it. Yeah, it's have like all the content that we do, does. So don't worry if you didn't caught up. Um, for the previous classes, this is where you sh should be. Um, don't be worried if you don't cut up uh, and then you can just go to this link. And then which then if I go to my GitHub, since I already go there, I don't want to create another workspace. Um, but if I go here and then you can see, you should see something like this. And then once I click on start, and now I can go ahead and you can see, let's give a sec. Wait, is it like kind of like a live share thing? It's not. Oh. It's online Visual Studio Code. You can see it's really similar to Visual Studio Code, but it's basically like online version of it. Oh, so we have to type our own code, but this is just like a starter? Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. All right. So if I type something like in that JSON thing, it won't show on your screen? Uh, you can try, it won't. You can try, it won't. It doesn't work. Okay, so um, I turn the autosave on just for the sake of like time concern. And then now if we take a look, so what you can do, it's like I just run Python. First, you need to actually install Django. So what you need to do is type pip install hyphen r requirements.txt. And then what it should do is it should install everything required, which is currently in my requirements.txt. It's only Django. Um, but yeah, you should see something like this. And then, and then what you can do and then what you can do once you install Django is you can run Python manage.py run server. And then you can see it started the server because you've got a service available on port 800 says, says here. And I can say, okay, let's make it um, public, open the browser. And then you can see it's exactly how like our Django project is behaved. It's behaved, all right. So that's, um, that's basically how, uh, a get pod project, basically. I can't get to the, your page on get pod. I saw, I saw it in, but it's still, there's just a bunch of random stuff. No, there should be contents right here. If you follow my instruction, if you follow my instruction, it should be exactly the same thing as you as I just did. Okay. because I literally tried that before the class and works. So. Can you copy and paste the link in the chat? Cause I didn't even see the link. Okay. The like a, the authentication slash register thing also works. Yeah. It should work. It has like username and password and submit. Okay. Oh wait, never mind. It was launching in um uh Microsoft Edge instead of Chrome. Okay. All right, so does everybody create their GitHub project with all these third code that's I created for you beforehand? Uh, aren't we using Visual Studio Code? Uh, 
you can, you can. This is just a online platform. So for those of you using Replit, don't use Replit anymore, use this instead. And uh, yeah. But for the rest of you, you could keep using VS Code if you want to. Um, it's basically like this is the terminal. It's sim really similar to Visual Studio Code, but yeah, it's basically the same thing. All right, this is all if you see something like this in GitHub or in Visual Studio Code. Okay, I got a thumbs up in Zoom if you guys are ready to move on. Um, what did you type again? What? What did you type again? I put the instruction in the Zoom's chat. No, I mean like in the in the workspace. You don't type anything. Okay. Oh, you mean this? Yeah. Yo, okay, you first install this and then you first install it and then you can run the server. All right, is re everybody ready to move on? Um, I gotta. Wait, trick. why did you make me unmute? I don't know. Uh, wait, I gotta... you know? okay. Sorry, that's an accident. I just want to lower your hand. Yeah, no, no worries. Uh, yeah, Ethan. I got a from Django.core.management import x. I got from manage.py line eleven in main from the Django core dot management dot import dot ex execute and blah 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 from command line module not found error no module called, named django and then the the above exception was the direct cause of the following exception trace back most recent call last biomanage.py line 22 in module name something like that okay so i don't understand any error just said I'm going to tell you what error to talk about. This is important. You need to know like what, what is the, that, like the actual error. Like if you see something like this, it's an internal server error, blah, blah, blah. Everything here above this line, can, can someone mute themselves? Richard, could you mute yourself, please? All right, I will just mute you. Okay. All right, back to what I'm saying, the error. So notice that it have a trace back. So anything between here, these here are useless. They're absolutely useless. They didn't provide any good because like especially, well, sometimes they do because they do tell you where the line number is. But if this is like a bunch of files you didn't create, like you didn't create Django slash course slash handle slash exception, you didn't create this, you didn't create that, don't worry about it. What I need to know is this specific error is I, what I would need to know is this error. Is this a value error? Okay, well, and I guess I just going to try this. It's value error. The view, it's the view authentication view doesn't return HTTP response object. So that's what I need. It's an import error. Can I import Django? Are you sure it's in installed and available in okay. our Python path environment variable? Okay. Did you? Did you type pip install hyphen r requirements.txt? Pip. I sent you the Zoom's chat. Uh, okay, there we go. Thanks. All right, no problem. So you see the get get pod environment now, right? I still need to run the server, so. Okay. All right, does everybody see their GitHub environments? Yes. All right. Okay. 
All right, so I um, guess now we can continue. I got a about blank hashtag blocked, and then I got like a white screen. Just wait a few seconds. It should gone eventually. Um, or otherwise, otherwise it still doesn't work. Copy the contents here. Copy the URL, the URL, your web address here, and then pay. But add eight thousand hyphen in front of it, and then uh, type like GitHub pod. I I think that's the pattern is. So like your unique Git Git pod link, and then but you need to add eight thousand and hyphen in front of it basically, and um, you don't need to worry about the pop up then. Okay, I got it correct. There we go. It worked. All right, All right nice. So is everybody ready now? Yeah. All right. I think then we'll go ahead and move on. So does anybody remember what we did last time? Uh we made it we made a username and password input in a submit thing. Yeah, yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, so we specifically work on the authentication, though we didn't get much to finish. But notice that we actually have a file called register.html. And then uh, we have a views.py, and then that renders this register.html. But notice that there's actually there's nothing happening when the form gets submitted. So this is what we'll do today. Our goal for today is to finish this authentication for the first half of the class. Then the second half, we will start to implement the function where user can start to tweet, okay? This is our plan. Since we only have five classes left, so let's just hurry up. And then I just want to give you guys final week to work on whatever you want to work on, basically. Like create your own web application using the class you learn, and then do a show and tell. And I'll briefly talk about like how Git and GitHub works, some security concerns, uh, so more generally some more nerdy stuff, um, but yeah, that's a plan. So we'll go ahead and see when can we get this to finish. All right, so now I can see we got this method is, all right, let me just, oh, okay. So now let's go ahead and take a look. How can we actually create a new user? Turns out in Django, create a new user is pretty simple. Actually, actually, if I, I think I remember one thing that I need to talk about. So recall that when you go to this route, so slash os slash register, and then for example, you sign up for a username and you type a password in. And if you click on submit, we'll see is we got this 403 error called forbidden. And it says CSRF verification failed request aborted. So basically this is called CSRF or um, cross-site forgery, uh, request forgery attack. And it's a security concern. Uh, again, basically it's what you mean is somebody else maybe want to submit to this route, but for some like malicious purposes. Uh, so in here, what we can do is in here, we can just basically add a really simple line. And then basically it's curly braces, percent sign, uh, CSRF underscore token. Okay, CSRF underscore token. And then if you refreshed, now if we try to do this again, we should still see an error, but this time it's not a CSRF error. Indeed, it's a view authentication because we didn't return anything. It must return something. But you can see we successfully passed the CSRF verification. Uh, and if you want to take a look, uh, just a sec, let me finish this real quick. And then if I, we want to take a look, what's actually happening to that CSRF. And then you can see Django automatically create a new field of form field for us. Name is CSRF middleware token. And the value is random string that generally. Okay. All right. Yes, whoever just asked me a question, I suppose. Does anybody have any questions? 
can you yes. can you go back to like the thing because I didn't finish typing. Oh yeah. Um. Um. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I wasn't here. So um, what is going on? Okay. So basically, what we uh, what I decide is we're not gonna. You you have options now. If you're using Replit, use this option instead. If you're using VS Code and every single smoothly for you. Still, I would recommend to use this online environment instead. It's called Gitpod. So you can basically uh, sign up account at gitpod.io and then can and then send this again in the Zoom chat. You can take a look, Kessler. And then you can go to the specific URL. You should see something like this. You see something like this. And then basically what we just did is literally just add this line inside of our template, uh, inside of a syndication, templates, a syndication, register.html. All right, that's briefly what we does. Excuse me? Yeah. For some reason, I don't have settings.json. Don't worry about that. Uh, it will automatically create for you if you turn the autosave option on. So like you can click on here. Don't oh, worry okay. about this. This is like a Git pod thing. Don't worry about Okay, that. thank you. Go on. Come and I have a question. Uh, yeah, I just want to answer Kate's question, but yeah, sure. So when I submit, it's just nothing happens, and it doesn't show an error. It just it submits, and nothing else happens. Well, I mean, it sh unless you return something, otherwise it should show you an error. Unless you type something like return HTTP response, like something here, unless it does that. Otherwise, uh, it should show your error. You what, but it didn't. You, you, do you just the pass here? Yeah, I just put pass. Yeah, that means your message is set up correctly. You um, most likely don't have this message here. Um, can you go over the code? What do you, uh, what do you mean? go over the code. We literally just changed this file. So find register.html and that's what we did. Add a CSRF token for security purposes. So that's all you did? Yeah. Yes, that's exactly how I, what I did. Can and then you move you, your cursor? What? Can oh, you move sorry. your cursor? Thank sorry. you. And finally, I can answer Kate's question. Sorry about that. How do you reach the website where you enter the username and password? Um, you basically going to go run this using Python, type Python manage up Python server in the terminal. And then it should say something like, uh, it, there should be like a pop-up here. And then you can click on make public. And then it should have another pop-up say open browser. And then there should be another page prompt to you. Prompt to you here first, here. And then to reach the place where you can type excuse me, your password, it could go to slash os slash register. Wait, I'm using Visual Studio Code. So what is, I, I saw last class, you gave me a different link. Yeah, 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 because that's the local host server, but this time it's like a internet available uh, public. So don't worry about the link, but the end should be the same uh, same thing, the route. So like, well, then how do I access the website? Okay, there's one Python 3 manager Python server. And if you're using Visual Studio Code, go to go, go to browser, go to 127.0.0.1 colon 8,000 slash offs slash register. Uh, okay. And then slash off slash register okay oh okay now there's a csrf verification failed no okay all right because i just added the method equals post yeah yeah so wait what was the code again oh C percent CSRF token. Again, the CSRF token is the only thing that I type. Are you guys ready to move on? Yes. 
Okay. I don't. Um, you're supposed to do in, um pip install um on all that code. Oh, did you not? Yeah, you're supposed to run these. Okay, I forgot to type R at the end, but yeah, I should install Django first. To make it easier, you can just type pip install hyphen R requirements.txt in your term. Which I sent in the Zoom chat as well. Tell me if, let me know if you didn't receive it. I was saying. Yay, it's a value error. Yeah, it's a value error, yep. All right, so now if you see a value error, that means you're correct. Because notice that we didn't implement anything for when the foreign actually gets submitted. Now here are some interesting things we can do. We now let's talk about how can we authenticate using user, uh, using uh, in Django. So it's really easy. In fact, in here what we'll do is we'll actually first type user. And then in here we'll, and then in here we'll type user dot objects dot create user. And then notice that it's automatically tells me, uh, and then you can see, gave me like a intelligent snippet, tell me which, which, what information should I substitute. Here you can see we have a username and password. And then by default, our username is just going to be request the post bracket username here. Oops. And then after, if you are interested to see what's actually happen, happen uh, underneath the hood, you can take a look at this file right here. You got just like uh, in MacBook, just like type commands, hold command, and we are cursor over. And then it will like show underline and then you can take a look like the information and click on it, it will show you the source code. But anyway, you should see some, and then you can set user the object of create irregular user, username is username, request that post username. Can you slow down? Yeah. Wait, but, wait can I see the import? Wait, did what you, do you want to see? Like, can you just do the user thing? What do you do after um post. how do um I'm still trying to run the server. You're still trying to run the server. Okay. Uh, did you install Django? Yes. Okay. I'm okay. Still trying to find manage with ls and cd. Okay. Then what you can do is you can you can type Python manage.py run server after you install Django. Sword equals Capital or lowercase d? Uh, wait, you should really just type pip install hyphen r requirements.txt and it should, you don't need to worry about like what's happening there. Like it's, I automatically like create this file for you so you can install it. Uh, I have another Wait, question. Can you go back to views.py? Yes. Did you import anything else? No. Well, this is the Australian import. Because it, I have an error. This is Austria I imported. And then this is like, dot post user, oh, request dot post. That's what it means. All right. Uh, how about this? Everybody, if you have a question, just try to raise your hand first. So, like, like if you guys try to talk like all at once, I cannot hear any of your questions. All right, Alvin, you're first. So my question is, your code, like, like after create user, you have a uh, parentheses and then save dot save parentheses. Uh, uh, and then after at the end, you have to add another parentheses because like- What I'm, do you mean? Here should be like you guys how it's look like. Like you have one parentheses here and then 
And then shouldn't there be another parentheses over here? Okay. So parentheses problem. Okay, gonna color. Yeah, like this, it doesn't have like color, like actual VS code. So like we have a parentheses here and then close the parentheses here. Oh, okay. I didn't and then see it. Rest of the two here. Yeah. All right, Kate, what's your question? Kate, do you have any questions? All right. Well, um, no. Did I, okay, I accidentally click on mute somebody again. So, okay. All right. So this is how it's supposed to look like. I'm gonna move on, and then what we could do is now we actually save the user. We actually save the user, and then, uh, and now we actually is basically done on creating a user. Uh, but then to make a little bit more interesting to do, what we would do, what we would do is we need to go ahead. So like usually after you register, you will be automatically logged in, right? I mean, that's how like most websites handle it. So what you can, what we could do now is you see the authenticate function and then, yeah, I want to show you this, but authenticate basically going to take in uh, the box. Uh, basically it's going to take in username and password and it's try going to try to authenticate and then basically you can imagine try to select the row or the user object that's best fit uh, that and not best fit that that have like this username and this password okay so now in here what we could do is something like this uh... Actually, we can do it a little bit. Yeah, actually, yeah, let's just do that. So in here, uh, yeah, does any, someone want to say, say something? Um, I'm still no. typing yeah. something. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep typing since it's just like one line. And then in here, we'll just say user equal to authenticate. And then notice that I need to substitute request it will, Django will automatically handle how to change some value in request, this HTTP request object. And in here, we'll go ahead and say username equals request the post username and then password equals to request the post password. So now what we are doing is we are trying to find the row that we just created for this user. I can't see the full screen. Oh, sorry about that. It's yeah. still glitching out again. Okay. All right. And then what we could do is we can say something like here. You can say something like login and then login actually going to take in request again and then the user that's what we get so login basically is actually going to handle like change the request and then is it going to also going to like so like what user it is currently well we need to give the user object that we just fetched which is here okay and then um and then here then what we could do is so we can here we can import from Django.htp import HTTP response. Uh, actually, HTTP, HTTP response. Yeah. And then in here, I can just say return HTTP response register uh, registered logged in successfully. All right. Can you so the slow down a little bit. Like I'm not finished typing. Okay. I'm gonna wait for a little bit. So I guess can. Oh, uh, can I see the import thing? 
Yeah, I would do this. So maybe in the chat, raise your hand if you're done. You, you, uh, I'm just gonna wait for fix. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I can do that. Wait, can you like? There's a there's a yellow underline under my HTTP response. You add this line that you just highlighted. Oh, okay. I need that. Yellow line means import error. Means you try to use something that you didn't define what imported yet. Um, I'm still not done with trying to run the register.html. Okay. Um, okay. Is most of the people finished? Because I ha I would like catch it. Is there a way to like simultaneous? Wait, I'm almost done. Okay. Is there a way? to simultaneously let two participants share their screen together. No, I don't think Zooms allows that. Like, nope. Because it, only it, one person can share their screen at the same time. There is a way. Like, you can um, share multi screen. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, just, is everybody finished it with these four lines of code yet? Or technically five? No. Okay. I'm just gonna give you guys two more minutes to finish that, then we'll like Kazer to share his screen. My Windows is, my computer like screen is like very big, so the except that I have to like move everything. There we go, that's better. Uh, is there settings here? Ethan, could you uh, either mute yourself or put your, I can't hear it like your, the Discord notification. I don't know. I'm not even having that many notifications and it always like. No, cause like, I'm pretty sure someone's Discord notifications going off or sorry about that, but it's like Zoom. Zooms told me that you are talking when I heard the Discord notification, so I will. For whoever just have the Discord notification, please mute yourself or like just turn do not disturb because that's going to get annoying for... Everybody is muted except for Kessler. I think now the wood. Now, now it should go. Yeah, I don't hear notification anymore. All right, is everybody finished? I'm going to assume everybody's finished. And then, Kazer, could you share your screen? Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah, I think multiple people can share simultaneously. Let's try this. Could you share your screen, Kessler? Okay. Yeah, I can still share my screen. Okay, that's... Um, okay, now the problem being is I need to, I need to see your screen. Not see problem. I don't think I can see it. Uh, I no, don't. you can. Uh, at the top, there's like you can see the choices and then pressing it, you can press. I don't customer. think it's working for participant. Can you see my screen? Uh, Kaiser, yeah, could you... I can. I can. I can switch between yours and Kessler's. No, Kaiser, could you see? Could you? Could you see or see my screen? Nope, I only see mine. Yeah, exactly. Probably not work for participant. Yep. Okay. Let's see. First oh. of all, first of all, you forget to add a percent sign in here uh, on the left hand side of the C. Yep, um, I'm not sure with this work, but okay. Try to run Python three. Uh, manage up pi. Run server. Alas. Yeah, I really recommend you to use git pi instead because like your file is a little bit weird. Wait, where are you here? Okay, type cd 
and there was a space dot dot. Scene space, space dot dot. Yeah. And then now try to run the Python three manager Python server again. You could use yeah, you could use up arrow key to navigate throughout your history. Uh, press enter. Oh man, okay. Could you go to views.py? Uh, see that you have a square bracket here. Here. Yeah. Remove the square bracket. Now I'll try to run again. Okay. Actually. No, no, no. Uh, no. You, you don't need. You can't. Type Control C. Now run again. Oops, sorry about that. It still says how much. Okay, did you save it? Did you turn? Uh, I recommend you turn the auto save on. That, that's gonna save some time because I had to repeatedly save them. All right. Let's see. Invalid syntax request a post. It's not this. It's supposed to be the. It's not. It, it should be square bracket here instead of curly braces. Okay. Square bracket instead of curly braces. What's the? What's the? And then in here, remove this else. Actually, no, no, no. Don't remove it. Don't remove it. Um, okay, I know. Okay, so just on and then them all the way to here. I had an error too. Or just a sec. Uh, you guys can raise your hand and then I will call by the order show on my Zoom screen. My hand okay. raised the whole time. Is the problem solved? Oh, I saw you're finished. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, I think it's solved. You can go there and take a look. All right. Um, well, yeah, yeah, I think it's solved. You can take a look. Go to like one to seven point zero point zero point one, colon eight thousand in your browser. Uh, yeah, Jeffrey can share a screen. And then Alvin can share a screen as well. Alvin, you could actually share a screen as well because like you can share simultaneously. Oh, sorry. I I forgot to lower my hand. I meant I'm oh. done. Okay, no problem. It has like this. What does M mean? Modify. It's a git. It's a git thing. I will explain in the last week. Could you click on here? Open browser. Okay. Uh, not the. But okay. Could you go back to your code? Easier or should work. Go back to code. Yeah. Wait. Let's do settings. Settings are not configured. Oh, it's gonna be complicated. Okay. Could you give me remote control? Oh. I'm just gonna request so I can make it easier for you. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Oh, whoops. Shoot. Um. Wait. What? We should just do. Okay. You have to like drag it. Yeah. Sorry about that. I don't want that happens. It should work. 
Yeah, I think it works. Wait, but whenever I just do this, do this, mm -hmm. and do, do that. Yeah. And then you do, and then you just type something like this. Okay, I showed the screen before, like 10 minutes ago. Do you know how to solve it? I showed this 10 minutes ago. It's called CSR of token. That's the point where we're at this. So probably didn't add this correctly. Wait. Well, we did add this correctly. Um, okay, probably didn't, did you turn autosave on? Um, did you turn autosave on? Okay, uh, do you mind if I turn autosave on for you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That should work. All right, now try again. Now I can type something in again. Okay. Okay, maybe I have to save it manually for close. Save. Okay, now try again. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That works. All right. Wait, I'm gonna not. Um, whenever I log in, it says the um, request is not defined or something. Requ request. It says it says something about um after I run the server and I go the password and the password and the username. So basically everything just collapsed and it said that request isn't doing anything. There's just an error. Okay, so you said like request not found. Yes. Request not defined. Do you put a request as a, your a function parameter here? Request definition request. No. Yeah, you need to put request into the parentheses. Okay. Yeah, no problem. All right, let's see what time is it? Okay, we still have a few minutes for the part one of this class. Well, there's like more than one hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does anyone know what to type in the workspace? Was it like Python 3, Python, manage.py, run server? That's what, what it is supposed to be. Okay. Python, manage.py, run server. All right, so now what I want to take a what I want to show you guys it's something really interesting. So what we'll do here is uh, actually you know what we'll just keep finish the login first. So to do the login, it's really simple. We'll say first if request a message equals equals to post, then do this. Otherwise, return render authentication request here. Authentication slash login.html. Okay. And then if it's post, if it's post, which means the form submitted, is we'll do something like this. We'll still use the authenticate function and then request username equals request the post username 
password equals request the post password. We'll still do something like this, but then does, does anybody think there's any issue might happen? How about this? Does anybody, now we can do something like this. So it's similar, similar to here, similar to here, but does anybody see some problem might happen or some potential bug might happen if I do something like this? So again, let me walk through what the code is doing. Again, let me walk through what the code is doing. First, we try to get the user object by using the uh, username and password user provided. And then we expect it's going to get the user object and then can log in with the current user. Does anybody, but does anybody see any potential box might happen? with this process. Does anybody see any box might happen? Anybody see anything? Like just say something. I know you guys are here. I'm still trying to finish the code on views.py. Okay. Uh, Excuse me? Yeah. Can you go to register.html? It, it, oh God. Why does this happen at this time? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, okay, thanks. <sighs> this is the views. What actually, what I want you to do is you guys like just stop typing for just a second. Stop typing for just a second. And then I want you guys to take a look at these two lines. And then tell me, do you guys see any potential bugs might happen? You guys just, I'll stop, stop typing for just one second and then take a look and think is there any bug might happen. I will explain what's happening again. So, so here's that happening. There, so we are trying to get the user object by using the username and password user provided, and then we're trying to log in the user. Okay, we're trying to log in the current user with the user objects as we get. But does anybody see any potential bug that might happen in this process? Nobody see any bugs, like potential bugs? No. No? Does anybody else have any ideas? Does anybody else have any ideas? Okay. So what might happen is we don't actually end up get the user object. So we don't actually end up get the user. So we, so this user object is not. Does anybody have any ideas why the return after the authenticate function, it doesn't return as a user object, but return a non instead. So like we don't get the user object. Does anybody have any ideas why that happened? So like it returns none. No. So what ends up happening is what if I provided the wrong username or the wrong password? If I provide the wrong username or the wrong password, turns out that I'm unable to get the user object where there's no such is a user break? object might exist. <clears throat> is it break? Um, in a little bit, yeah. I just want to finish this off. So, Basically, again, what's might happen is this user may not actually return the user object. It might return none if the user provide the wrong credentials. So that we will fix in the second part of the class. All right, so you guys can have a nice break. Now it's break time, all right? Excuse me, boy. Can, we do something? Can you go to templates slash authentication 
and then go to register.html. Okay. Can we do something like, oh, this username doesn't exist. You can create a new account or whatever, something like that. That's not what usually happens. So, so like we will register, we we'll log into Google accounts. So like it do, Google don't automatically create account for you if you type the wrong credentials, right? So no, for I mean, example, like, would you like to create a new account or something like that? Well, I mean, that's not what you happen. Usually they tell you, did you, well, I mean, sometimes we can create a message. Okay, Kyle, don't, you don't have to send me multiple times, but I will go back. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, let me put out the timer first. Oh, Usually, if uh, like I enter a wrong username, it just says username does not exist or something. Yeah, so it doesn't. Yeah, so that's what we need to handle, right? So like they couldn't authenticate you. That means they're gonna assume you are the wrong user. You didn't create account, right? So now so I'm gonna return none, basically. Um, yes. I have a question. Yeah. For some reason, I still can't run. I still can't run the server. It's did you just see any errors? Yeah. What error did you see? Um, after I changed the code and then tried to um, go to the directory and rerun the server, mm -hmm. it still says um, error, there was a icon that says error now, there's no such file or directory. Okay, there's no such a file? Mm -hmm. so but like you still, like you still cannot find like manage.py or something? Yeah. I can't find see ls and then, then Python. Okay, well, um, that's really weird. Okay, so how about this? Could you type ls in your terminal and tell me what did you see? I see tw just Twitter clone. All right, now I need to type just Twitter clone. Just Twitter clone. Now I just see command not found. Okay, did you just see Twitter clone? That I'm not asking. You shouldn't see command not found because I didn't ask you to literally type any command beside ls. So after you type ls, did you see anything beside Twitter clone? No. No. Then you can type cd Twitter clone. Then at LS. Now what did you see? I see authentication db.sqlite3 and manage.py. All right, now run the Python 3 manage.py run server again. Okay, it works. Yeah. So like you're not on the correct folder, basically. Maybe. And it's not maybe you are not on the correct folder. It's uh, you are not. It's not like maybe, but. Okay, yes. N yes. Yeah. So, like, I just want you to know, like, how could you, like, solve this question in the future? But, like, you don't need to necessarily ask me every time. You can, like, you need to need to know, like, which folder you're on. You can type ls. And then you can type cd turtle on or cd dot dot. cd dot dot go back. And then CD, put whatever folder name here, going to move forward to that given folder. But yeah, that's just something to know. Remember. Now there's this error. It's when I, um, after I get all the passwords in, I see this. What's the error? Integrity error. Integrity. Okay, okay. Could you like read the full error to me, please? Unique constraint failed authorized 
underscore user dot username. It says integrity error at authorization slash authentication slash register. Okay. Could you try something like this? I'm not sure why that happens. Uh, let me take a look. Did I see the same error? Hmm, that's weird. Oh, okay. Okay. So, um, okay. Did you type, could you run this Python, Python or Python three manage up high migrate. Could you type this? Python three. Python three. Wait, could you tell, wait, wait, wait. Wait, uh, could you tell me your error again? It says it's a integrity error. Okay. What's the description? Um, unique, unique constraint failed. Unique is all capitalized, and it says authorized. Um, authentications um, underscore user dot username. All right. Are you sure your view stop is exactly the same as mine? Yes. Okay. Then yeah. Then try this. Then just try type Python three man drop pi migrate. Tell me if you see it in the new era where it does a fixed. Okay. Mm
All right, so welcome back. Our timer is finished. And then uh, let me share the screen again. Okay, so is everybody finished so far? Yes. Okay, here's what we do then. All right, so now we're going, so now we talk, before the break, we talk about the user might be none if we don't find this credential. So in here, we say something like this. If user is not none, or in other word, we successfully authenticated, all right? Then we, in here, we could say login. But then otherwise, if the user is none, we might do something different. So we probably want to give an error instead. So in here, you can just say return HTTP response. And in here, we just say invalid user. Okay. And then now the login should work. So now let me create a new file. Wait, can you just stay there? Because I need to finish typing. Okay. You go back. I'm still like typing. Um, blocking the screen. Whoops. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm not done. Oh shoot. Okay, hey, uh, you st what do you mean by you still can't access the server? Can I write something else in the invalid user area? Yeah, sure. Okay. Sorry guys, let me like Kate share his screen, her screen really quick. Kate share his screen please. I'm not sure why you still doesn't, your server still doesn't work. And your student taught me, but. Okay, did you install, did you type pip install? Okay, did you type pip install? Can you hear me? Oh, sorry, I was muted. Yeah, I did download. I did. Um, I did type it. Okay. Did you could you type like Python manage a Python server? Okay. There's lots of syntax here. So in here. You need to have two equal sign. You need to have a colon here. You have a colon here. You need to indent uh, here. And then act, you need to indent here as well. And then you actually need to indent these, all of this contents. Um, and then you forget if here, so make sure to type if. 
I'm gonna remove these spaces here. Your indentation doesn't match, so you have to refollow the indentation. Nope, that's still it's not the correct indentation. Okay, remove if all the way back to here. All right, now indent again. Okay, now in here indent as well. Well, that means one of you. Okay, whatever. Indent here as well. Please speak normally. Thank you. Uh, indent here as well. Yeah, this also need to get indented. We've got two friendly carriers over here, and then two enemy Japanese carriers over there. I really don't have to set a plan to be like, hey, maybe we should attack them. And look at this, I got, I got my, I got an M1 Garand and a Colt 911. Remove the space here. There's a space. Do I have any bombs? Indent line 19. Oh my god, it even sounds like the 50 calibers. Oh. Whoever watching some game YouTube video, could you please mute yourself, please? Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, okay, could you go back to the code, please? Okay, I think it now it should work. I think we'll fix all syntax here. Don't worry about it. Everything should work now. No okay, worries. thank you. Welcome. All right. Whoops. All right. Okay, so now here's how it looks like. Uh, let's go create register.html. And then it's fairly easy. I'm just gonna copy and paste it to here. And then, yeah, that's basically it actually. We just need to do this. We just like duplicate it too, because like, there's really no fundamental difference between register and login. So basically copy the register.html, the contest and then create the login.html and then successfully authenticate it, login, and then otherwise return invalid user, basically. Okay. Uh, or otherwise you can say something like return render, request authentication and login. So like we can attempt to let user to log in. All right. So does anybody have any questions so far? No. No. All right. So let's take a look. I mean, this like really shows the no. Okay, what? The no. Uh, now mine says integrity error. Seriously? Wait, what? What did you do? What's what? the IA? Did you also go to like here? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, just one more thing at the end, just return HTTP response. Uh, welcome. Something. Uh, all right, who says integrity error? What's your integrity error? Integrity error, unique constraint failed, colon auth user dot username. Oh, okay, I know why. Did you create a new user with the same username? Probably. This, this is basically tell you that you cannot create two users with the same username. But I thought this was... I thought this was logging in, not signing up. Well, what's your route? What do you mean by route? This is the route. Oh, uh, the route is, oh, it's auth slash login. It is login. I did what? auth slash register. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Value user. Yeah, I mean, you guys can now, you guys can try play with it. 
and then you kind of guys can see if there's any other circumstance that I didn't catch. So like probably in here, you can do something like try except um, maybe in here then it's just gonna assume, so like return HTTP response, username already exists or something. Um, now it says value error. What? It says value error. Yeah, value error. Uh, and then I just add this line at the end. So like before else, right before else. So just make sure you return something. Like um, mine sure. says attribute error. Did you just return a string? You need to make sure you return the HTTP response. You cannot like return a string. Yeah, I think I did working. return something, but it's still okay. Uh, sorry about that. Who just said attribute error? Finish, please. Oh, um, it says attribute error at slash os slash register. Okay. Uh, all right. Keep reading. Um, anonymous user object has no attribute. I'll just share my screen if you want. Yeah, sure. Okay, that's not what I expected. Okay. Um, that's exactly the error I had a little bit ago. All right. Could you go back to your code? Okay, could you scroll up? Don't uh don't don't do it like it's gonna tell air support or right? exist. Oh well did you close your server? Okay. If you close your server then just run again. Run like Python three manage up high run server or something. Huh. Your code looks good to me. Yeah, click on open the browser. Let's see. Could you go to slash off slash register? All right. Do you mind if you give me remote control? So probably I can do it faster and then tell you at the end. Thank you very much. Constraint failed. All right. I'm going to add that. Let's just use my name. Let's see. Line 12 is here. It's not going to do much. Oh, shoot. Is there a request indicated? There's a main bar not on here. Okay. Uh, I don't know what, let me, oh, okay. Add a username here. Now try again, see if it works. Yep. 
There you go. All right. All right. What? Can you see your code? Because I accidentally put it, put the code that I wrote in def register request. Uh, okay. Actually, I had to like Kazir to share his screen first. So Kazir, could you share his screen? Could you share a screen, Kazir? Yeah, I can share it. All right. Thank you very much. See, there's a syntax error with the else, this else. Okay. Whatever I do to it, there's either a syntax error or a unexpected index. All right, just a sec. Um, and it's completely normal. Okay. Let's see. Take a look. Yeah, your dentation is wrong. Um, or it says invalid syntax. Your dentation is wrong. Let's see. Okay. Kind of mess. Um, all right. Could you share a screen? Uh, I mean, share a screen. Could you end it? On line 21. Oof. Line 22 as well. Oof. And then line 23. Remove line 25 as well as 27. Okay, done, done. Yeah, now I don't have a syntax here anymore. Much cleaner. Okay. Yeah, indentation is important in Python. I kind of was still typing my thing, so I didn't get how you were explaining the syntax error, so. What? So I was like, um, I was, um, I just finished typing and, um, I think Kessler might have had the same syntax error as I had, but I wasn't like paying attention because I was like typing everything. So, how about this? I'm going to teach you how to sub the syntax here, okay? Because like this is a skill that you need to learn. I'm not for from now on. I'm not going to help you guys on your guys syntax here. I'm going to tell you how to solve it, okay? So, for example, I just going to create a new function syntax here, and then what are syntax here? Well, for example, you define a function and then an indent. For example, you just say A equals apple. And then you say indent here for some reason, B equals banana. So notice that every time we have a colon generally, you need to make sure you indent. You, need, you have to indent to so something like this. And then even after you have a colon, for example, if you don't want to indent, for example, you just want to create like an empty function or useless function, you need to make sure you have a pass keyword here. Literally means leave. But then uh, you make sure you re-indent them back because then otherwise if you indent them here, it's gonna show error here again, all right? So you guys now can work on to solve your guest's own syntax here. Syntax, syntax error are the most annoying to solve because sometimes the indentation error I, uh, as I told you, when you learn Python, Python cares about indentation. It's not like JavaScript, you could indent like anywhere you want. You have to follow a certain pattern. Python, however, doesn't care how much you indent. For example, you can indent, by default, it's usually a tab, but you could also do two spaces. Just make sure you keep it consistent. And then make, if you're using spaces across your whole document, using space, otherwise using tab, okay? So, uh, or sometimes parenthesis also, so like you can take a look, is all the parenthesis closed? Otherwise that's maybe cause some error as well, okay? All right, do you guys have any questions? Any questions? Especially to Ethan? Uh, Ethan? No. Uh, yes, can I see the code for the register? 
Death yes. register request. Okay. All right, is everybody ready to move on? Uh, oh, I'm not done with the register code. Okay. Oh, oh I guess you can keep working. Just let me know after you finish the like the register so you can move on. Basically, just let me know, okay? Uh, I think I finished. Is there everybody finished with register? No. Okay. Um, what's happening? Wait for everybody to finish register first. Register function. What's the M like U and like the U use things like next to like the files? I don't understand. Well, here's a color. I mean, you can find it if you want to. Just let me know after you guys finish the register function, okay? Ethan, do you just have your syntax here? Uh, I'm working on it. Okay. Things that still kind of aren't really working. All right, you can just if you still cannot solve it, just let me know. Um, all right, Vera, do you finish the register function and to everybody else? Almost done. You are done, Elvin. Are you Almost. Done? Almost. Okay. Okay, I'm done. All right. I'm not done yet. You're not done yet, Vera? Um, I have, a, done. I have a feeling I finished it, but it's kind of not really working. No, you didn't finish it. I kind of like... If your code is exactly the same as mine, it should work. You can change, like, the string, like, in here. You don't have to be exactly the same thing, but, I mean... Well, <sighs> this site can't be reached error. 
Okay, that means your server stopped. Run the server again. Okay. So I say Python manage .py run server. Alright, server so finished with register that register function. So so when I type Python manage .py run server, it says it says Python manage .py syn it says syntax error. Well, that means you have a syntax here, so solve it. Uh, how? I told you how to solve the syntax here. So, two things. Tab, see, are you indent correctly? For the sake oh. of simplicity, when you try indent, you need to make sure it looks like mine. What I Whenever mean, you use a colon, make sure you're indented. Okay. What I mean, when I type Python manage.py run server, it says syntax error. So like in the terminal? Yeah, in the terminal. Is there bash says in front of it? What is bash? Okay, that means you don't have it. Yeah, could you share a screen? Wait a sec, I have an indentation error. Could you share a screen, yeah. What? Okay, I'll share my screen. So apparently there's an indentation error here. Why are you in a Python here? No, you're not supposed to be in here. Type exit with parenthesis. Exit? Yeah. Now run it again. Now run the Python 3. Type control C first. Okay, now run again. Okay, and also there's an indentation error, I believe, here. Yeah, see if you can solve it. Uh, I'll take a look. All right. Is there ever finished with the register function? Yes or no? Do you guys finish the register function yet? Uh, yes, I'm finished with the register. Can I look at the login view again? Okay, if request message equals post. Ethan, do you still not fix your syntax here? Yeah, I think I um, indented correctly. All right. We share a screen really quick. I think I'm sharing it correctly, right? Yeah. No, there's so much indentation here. I'm just going to tell you how to solve. I'm not going to directly help you. First, there's no S. Okay, here. Second, make sure that make sure that he, so take a look when they have curly braces, like when I have red squiggly underline, that means syntax here. Okay. Um, that means you need to make sure that see this little tiny line here to make sure the level of your code aligns with here. For example, except should align with this line here. Okay. User should align with the line here. All right, that's some some way that should can help you with your syntax error. Okay. 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 Yeah, you yeah you completely messed up with these. Yep. See, that's why I told you guys indent is important. So now I can see if you start using your JavaScript indent, like JavaScript indent, whether you indent or not doesn't matter, but for Python it does matter. All right. Okay, so now let's talk about log out. Log out is one of the most easiest to implement. Just need to type log out and then put request here. And then here you can just say return HTTP response, log out successfully. Uh, you're not sharing your screen. Shoot, uh, sorry about that.
All right, here, here we go. It should be something like this. All right, do you guys have any other? All right, so, um, so do you well, guys have any? Some time. What? I said, give me some time. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So, um, I'm gonna give you guys three more minutes to finish to finish this login view. Is it is that enough am amount of time? Yes. How about this? Can anybody show of hand to say you already finished with these three functions? Register, login, and log out. Raise your hand if you already finished these three functions. Which is expectedly nobody, but okay. I'm just gonna give you guys three more minutes. If you guys need more time, just let me know. All right. Okay, I'm done. All right. Right, one person finished. All right, I'm just gonna give you guys three more minutes. I'm done with the logout. Right. Just make sure you finish all of these three functions. All three? Yeah. Yeah, I already did all three. Register, login, and logout. Logout is the shortest one. All right, so is everybody ready? Uh, how do you, like, how, I just wanted to ask a question. So like, how do I delete all the passwords and username uh, currently? Like, um, is there a way to do that? There is. Okay, so look really closely. I want everybody to actually pay attention. That's an actual real good question. So if you want to do that, what you can do is you can do Python, type Python, manage.py, create super user, okay? And then now you can type a username, admin, email address. I'm just gonna leave my email address here. 
And then I'm going to type a password. It says too short, too simple, too common. Well, I create my password anyway, all right? And then remember the credential that you just created. Next, you need to go to stash admin route. And in here, you can type whatever you just typed your credential here. And then you should see something like this. This is Django's admin dashboard, and then you can click on users. And notice that we have two users created, two user, admin and username. If I want to, I can I delete. don't see that. Uh, I, I just, I, well, I just tell you how to do it, like literally, but you need to create a super user first, all right? And then it will tell you to create username, to create password. Then you can go to slash admin. So where, wherever your base URL is, as admin as a route, and then you can log in, okay? And then you can manage it. May you repeat what you write in terminal? Python 3, manage.py, create super user. Create super user are one word, so. Uh, where do you type that? Terminal. Uh, Wait, I can't create something. Python 3, what? Manage.py, create super user? Yeah, uh, well, I mean, Jeffrey, you should be able to create it. Wait, can you show me the terminal? Python. Oh, there's no space. Yeah. Quite, it says I have an indentation more. error. I create super user. Wow. Username. Email address Jeffrey. Gmail password. Uh, I does not work this thing. Yay. All right, so this is like a super user. I can manage your account better, okay? Um, it says I have an indentation error. What? It says I have an indentation error. Who are you, Kate? Mm-hmm. All right, how about this? Could you try to on your own to solve it first? I don't have that Django site administration thing. You need to go slash admin. Slash admin is automatically configured for you. Oh, okay. All right. Oh. My computer's getting really laggy with the typing. Like, I can't, like, type anything. All right, well, I mean, I can hear you pretty well, so, I mean, your computer can transmit pretty well. Okay, same. I mean, like, it's kind of laggy for typing, so... All right, um, this is super user. Is everybody ready? So, I mean, okay, Wait, what? I can't log in for some reason. That means you, you forget your credentials already. That's the only thing that might happen. Oh my goodness. I'm getting really mad. I think everything's working right now. There's a bunch of red underlines, but there's not red underlines like before it. So I'm not sure. If it's red underlined, that means usually means it syntax here. You need to fix it. Otherwise, unless unless if you run the server, it doesn't tell you error. Then that sometimes that means you're still good. But like most of the time, if you see red squiggly underline, I mean you still have syntax here. Okay, I'm gonna like like I'm gonna redo this thing because this thing's getting we're kind of laggy. Actually, it's getting really laggy. 
But it doesn't work even though I made the most simplest pipe um, password ever. Well, I mean, then. I mean, I cannot help you on that. But, uh. Uh, the thing is, it's not letting me type in my password. Type in the password. It lets you type the password. You just cannot see it's actually being type, typed. Oh. Yeah. Um, yep. For some reason, on line 10 for me, it says there's an expected and indented block. That means indentation error, basically. Try to indent it. So, wait, indenting? Try yep. indenting? Try indent, try de -dent. Try whatever, make it work. This is how it's Invalid syntax. What? Finally. Oh, on line 11. Excuse me? Yeah. What are you supposed to type in the terminal again? Oh, uh, okay, I don't. Okay, Python 3, manage up pi, uh, uh, create super user. Create super user is one word. Okay. Oh, there's so many users. I have a syntax error when I do that. Try and see if you know how to stop it. Like, first find which line is, then see did you match the indentation and stuff like that. Okay. Oh my goodness. My computer is lagging like in and out, and then like it gets super frustrating. Um, sometimes. I can't even see what I'm typing, so then I have to do everything. It's like. <sighs> it sometimes works, but then it sometimes doesn't. Like it works for like five seconds, and it doesn't work for like 10 seconds, and then it comes back for five seconds. But like really annoying. How do you like do the logout request? Because I had to restart the whole thing. Right here. On my screen. That was, I still have a syntax error. Try and see if you know how to stop it. If you absolutely, okay. Well, um, all right, well, uh, yeah, try and see if you can stop it. Just try to indent or detent using spaces, using tab, using whatever you need to get, like, get to not show the error anymore, basically. Well, I have no more indent errors. That's good. Okay. Excuse me, Boyd. Yeah. When I type that text into my terminal, it says username leave blank to use JitPod. Yeah, just have your username here. Remember, this is your username, and then uh, it will let prompt your password. Wait, I just type a random username? Uh, yeah, something I remember, basically. Okay. How do you open, like, the thing again? What thing? Like the... Like the... Um, Like the, the the Django admin site thing. Uh, you can have like slash three. admin route. You can have like three like terminals. I can't type anything in my terminal when it says password. You can type again for the password. You can type. You just it just because the password just automatically hide the text. So it's still recording everything just typed. Oh, okay. Yep. I still can't correct the syntax error I have. Well, I guess uh, you can share a screen then. Well, it says line 11. A trap. When people interact with my word, I really want them. That's because you're doing this without an accept. And also have an accept. So in here, you need to add accept. Actually, no, wait. 
well, forget about it. Just remove line nine, and then indent, I indent. So like, just remove indentation for line ten. That should solve your issue. Yep. All right. Uh, let's see. All right, two more people raise your hand. Jeffrey, you are first. Report to my Zoom screen. Oh, that was from last time. All right, okay. Uh, Elvin, then. I forgot to lower my hands, S-R-R-Y. All right. Okay. Actually, I do have a question. So you do one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one column eight thousand slash what to the what login you, place? To to what do you want to do? To do what? What's I just want to log in, but I, I after log in to I'm in dashboard. We're logging to your like uh, your own account. The login place. What what do you, Okay, there's two login pages. Yeah, the admin dashboard, or what? Where? Where your own login form? Yeah, my own login form, the username. Slash os slash login. Slash what? Slash os slash login. Os? Os. A U T H. Oh, A U T H. Okay. Thank you. Mm. All right, so um wait, when I go into the admin place, I recreated a super admin, but mm -hmm. is when after I try to log in it is set it doesn't let me it doesn't like do it. Make that me log you either enter wrong username or wrong password. Okay, I'll try again. Some reason my screen says cannot get auth slash login. Mm. All right. Well, that's some. That's like the actual question. Okay. Uh, you can share your screen. Okay. Okay. Uh, go back to your code. Yeah, mm -hmm. click open. Okay, uh, yeah, let's just give it a sec. All right, now I'm trying to run the server again, like Python 3 manager on Python server. Okay. So I think I wrote my password wrong. So is there a way that I can see it? There's no way I can see it. You can create another account. Okay. Okay. This is what it shows. All right. Now you can go back to your actual, like your, uh, your, like your actual, like URL. So like not code, but the actual website. Okay. You can try to refresh it. Keep refreshing. No. All right, go back to our code. Go back to our code, please. Okay. Maybe change. The bar was in the way. Hmm. All right. Um. Let's see. All right, could you go to urls.py? Okay, urls. Okay, 
Yeah, me. Oh, yeah, you are using this shit. Okay, could you click on make public here? Okay, now go back to your link. Now try to refresh it. Keep refreshing. Could you add a thousand in front of it? Now, if I want to suspend someone's account, I just delete their account. <laughs> At 8,000 and hyphen in front of it, and a hyphen. And a hyphen? Hyphen? Okay. And it's 8,000. It's hyphen, not a slash. A little dash to line, hyphen. Now, the semicolon. This is a colon. It's a hyphen. Hyphen is like this, like a subtraction symbol. That one, okay. Yeah, 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 and it's eight thousand. No, it, it well, no, uh, I mean to change this one thousand to eight thousand. Okay. Yeah. Remove this. Now try refresh it. Okay. All right, there you go. Uh, you don't have this template created apparently. I guess, so you can go back to your code and uh, go back to our code. And then you could, yeah, see so only have register.html. You should also have login.html. It's basically like exactly the same thing as register.html. So like you can just create a new file. Like, let's see, yeah, just create a new file called login.html. And uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is tight. Programming can be really exhaustive task. Like just imagine like if you're paid to do it, it's so exhaustive. Like there's so many bugs. Syntax is one of the best bugs to map because it's so easy to solve. Unlike some actual bugs. Um, all right, yeah. Yeah, don't be worried. If you're still, if you're, how many people are starting to enjoy programming? I enjoy I'm programming. starting to enjoy being an admin. Okay, yeah, I, you'll have much more power. We'll talk about, you can actually delete people's tweet as well if you want to in the future. Um, what? Oh, 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 oh I definitely. Now just user, you can delete anything. You, Cause you're an admin, you can delete any rows. That's the, like the biggest difference between Jingle and Flask. Like, uh, but back when I learned programming, it just take me, it takes me like three or four months to actually like get Python and get Flask installed. It just takes so exhaustive, like just take me so long to get installed. It's really complicated. But once you like get, get through this, these part, the rest of it's pretty simple. Just read through some documentation. In fact, one final part, like sort of like assessment overall will be your measure, your ability to read a documentation. Uh, so I will eventually give you a documentation and it will follow the step it gives to you and then try to do something. Maybe try to deploy it. So I will give documentation of how to deploy it to Heroku and then you will, tr you, will tr you will try to deploy it basically. So that's something sounds pretty fun, I, I guess. But I mean, uh, there's not enough amount of time to really do anything special now. So, um, do you guys have any other thing you want to talk about? Yeah, I want to talk about... A question? Yeah. I have a question. Yeah, sure. Once you create the H login.html, what code do you put into it? Uh, it's the same thing as registered on HTML. Okay. I have a question. Um, yeah. So, if you and you, so if you work, so if you're like the admin of a website, uh, so like in a company you have an online website, mm -hmm. in the website who's stronger, an admin or the boss? Well, um, figure it technically, 
your boss have more power. What do you mean who's but, stronger? Boss has more power over you, but if you have the access, for example, if you have the entire access to the Google database, then you should be the boss because like you could do anything you want with it, technically. So like technically your boss is your boss, but you could technically do whatever you want as well. But you can be the boss. Like um, you can't have power over yourself. I mean, you could. I guess, yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, so I mean, that's the actual code. So, I mean, if you guys don't have any questions, I guess that's so it. So you mean there. on the website, you have the most, the admin has the most power, but in the company, the boss has the most power? Uh, I mean, it's real really dependent on the situation. But anything, anyway, that's it for today. If you guys have any, any questions, feel free to ask in this like three or four minutes. Otherwise, you guys are feel free to leave, left, leave, and then we'll see you on next Monday. Bye. Bye. Well, um, I have a, I have an error. I have an indentation error. Try to see if you can solve it. But I mean, there's really not enough time for you to share a screen anymore. So. Okay. All right. See. You. Thank you for teaching. Okay, no problem. I really appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you for teaching us. Bye. Right, bye guys.